Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of the Arms Dealer, but we're doing it to get this triumph, the High Roller Triumph, which will help you if you're going for the Bad Juju. This is one of the tributes that you put in the tribute hall, so it's to do it with all armor and weapons from the Menagerie or Leviathan Raid. So we're doing it on Hunter, top tree of the Oxtrader subclass. I'll be using the Ostringer, the Beloved. We're going old school with the Sins of the Past and full menagerie armor now you can do this with menagerie or uh, leviathan weapons or armor but it has to be full leviathan and weapon uh, weapons and armor so we're 335 multiplier with arc singe heavyweight we've put on blackout and we've put on extinguish the reason why we we haven't put match game on is so that we don't have to worry about that but the st we don't have to worry about matching the shields so from what i found out in doing this was if i put the arc subclass on nine times out of ten and when i say nine times out of ten i ran this a few times just to make sure that it wasn't you know that it was repeatable and you could get this score most of the time with the cabal with the cabal version because i noticed when i put on the arc subclass i nearly always got the cabal version which is fine so basically what you want to do when you go out here there are a couple of elite cabal we want to take the snipers sniper now we've got we've got blackout on so we can't actually see the ads because we don't have a radar and if they get close they're going to do a, a, a ton of damage so we want to take any ads that can encroach us so we want to take the shield guy out first because those elites kind of stay over there normally as you can see, they pushed up here, but normally they will stay over there. Just be just be careful. that We're going old school with this. Obviously, we're using Sins of the Past, which I haven't used since D2 Year 1, but this is very close to being a D2 Year 1 loadout I'm using. We're not going to bother taking the, the ship out because he's not going to do a great deal of damage, as you can see. Once the second drop ship comes in with the rest of the Cabal, they'll all kind of bunch down there. Once they all bunch down there, as you can see, I'm just picking off ads that are in my, you know, in my eye line down there. Once you, once the second dropship comes, we're putting a rocket down there. We're using the exploding barrels and the blast radius of the rocket. Because since the past has a massive blast radius. We went with Arc Singe because I know the Cabal do a lot of Arc, but we're using since of the past. I wasn't sure how much damage it would do. And unless you've, you were one of the forward thinking people... Uh, I, I didn't keep a Sins of the Past. So you if you've had it, you can buy it back and you'll buy it back as an arc weapon. And there we go. That's this first area cleared, 21,000. If you do get the tape, which I did, I got the Fallen version, I think, once. As I say, I, I think I've done this about five or six times just to make sure, trying different weapons, different strategies. And out of the five and five or six times, I got the Cabal version. If I'd done it six times, I got the Cabal version five. So with the, I've been, you guys can let me know in the comments. It'd be great to actually know this. Do you, you know, if you can, if you tell me your own experiences, if you put on the ARC subclass, are you getting the Cabal version as well? Let me know in the comments. So <clears throat> I'm pushing back here because we know we've got Solar Guy up here. So we're just going to take him out from relative safety. There's no need to push. I just put put a couple of I'm not really I haven't got a lot of sniper. Now I have got special ammo finder. I don't have great perks on my my armor to be fair. Uh I didn't really grind the menagerie as much as I thought I would. I I I, I got everything I needed out of it. Obviously I've done it on two platforms and I don't know if you guys can tell that I was I wasn't feeling so great uh a couple of weeks ago. And it kind of went away, but it just went into my throat, and my chest. So, you know, I'm still, I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to get this content out to you guys. But you'll have to excuse my throat. So yeah, I haven't grinded out as much. And literally, literally yesterday, the the quest came out. A lot, a lot of stuff came out yesterday. The tribute hall and stuff like that. Moments of triumph and what have you. So. I, I literally was starting a new kind of project. Should anybody anybody watches the channel, 
anybody that watched the channel know what I mean, but when I say I started a new project, it's going to take me three weeks. So I, I was just getting prepped to start it, and I remembered the Tribute Hall was coming out, and then obviously Bad Juju was back, so I've had to put the three-week thing on hold, so we'll hopefully we'll start it this week, but that that that's kind of why I... Uh, that's my excuses for not having better Menagerie armor. But uh, if you've got better perks, if you've got better stuff, then hopefully you've got Heavy Ammo Finder or Rocket Launcher Reserves, because you can see we've only got six. So what I've done there, as you can see, once once I slammed the orb, I move over to the, the, the... If you're looking at where you slam the orb, I move to the right. I'll take out the Solar Shielded, I'll come up, take dogs, put a rocket on the yellow bar, and then I kind of wait for those yellow bar, the, the, the ads to congregate at the top of the ramp, try and get a rocket and wipe as many with one rocket as I can, and then move forward. When you get to this area, we're going to take our usual route to the left. Now, what we're going to do is there, there's an arc shielded uh, gladiator, elite gladiator. We wait for him to take aim so we know he's not going to move. He kind of stops. There you go. One shot, he's down. And then when we get up here, we are going to try and farm a little bit of ammo because we want a bit of score from here. So we've got the boy. We've got him there. We don't really want to waste too much ammunition, that elite phalanx. And we've got this uh, sniper cabal. We're trying to just... Trying to just... Uh, it's kind of difficult. Don't... You know, this isn't PvP. I'm not too worried about you know, missing some headshots, but the Ostringer is just super good. It's, it, this isn't even a ranged masterwork. Got to be careful, got to be careful. As you can see, I'm trying to get that heavy. There, there is a, there is just a normal Cabal Centurion. It's two of them, Legionnaire, sorry, not Centurion. So we'll drop a grenade. Watch out, there's a sniper on each side. So I just want, I'm trying to be as careful as possible because the thing about doing it with these year one, the year one strat, and, and having to do it with the Menagerie Leviathan uh, armor weapons, the heavies aren't that good, to be fair. You know, not, not. I mean, you you, you could do this, you could do this with uh, the shotgun from the Leviathan, the Acreus. If you've got the Taraba, you could probably use that. I know that's been pretty good for, for some of the Nightfalls. But I, I just wanted a strat that, that didn't need any of that kind of special kind of stuff because when you use something like when you use something like the accuracy you really have to switch up your playstyle you and not that i have a problem switching my playstyle up because i've used the accuracy in night falls before i have a problem with that being a repeatable strategy for people to follow so you know a lot of people have done seen these strats before done the rocket strats so I'm showing you how to use the rocket to do this. So when you get here, we put two rockets on, on, on the first tank. Now what we're doing is we're trying to scope out scope out some of the, the sniper because we, we've got we've got the fallen version in here. So we've got sniper shanks. They do a lot of damage. So once you take down some of the ads, as you can see, you then bring out the cabal. Now here's the thing. Don't bother about killing these cabal. Just put some shots on them. There, I'm happy enough with that. We'll go over here because if you put shots on an enemy in a high score nightfall, if other enemies kill them, you get the points. As long as you've done some damage to them. So now we're just we're looking for the invisibles. The shanks and the invisibles. Now that's it's I was worried about a sniper. Using a sniper, because it's been a while since I used a sniper for a high score. As you can see, there's one there. I've ran out of sniper ammo, which is no problem because we have a sniper pistol on. Now, as I say, this isn't a ranged masterwork. It's not even, doesn't even have any range perks. The Ostringer has a fair amount of range for these type of ads. As you can see, it's, it's not bad damage from that sort of range. So what we're going to do now, I feel I've took enough, enough ads out. We're just looking to see what's about. We'll activate this this console and then we'll push over. We want as many of the ads at the same place as we can. So we're going to put a grenade, see if we can take some ads down. We did. We took two marauders, which are the, those invisibles. 
just going to take a couple, you know, take a couple more, and then we're going to pop our supper and make sure we take these captains. And then up, we know there's another one up top, and there's a marauder. Now, the maraud that, that was the thing that, that, that nearly ruined it, because now a marauder pushes me. Two, there's two marauders left. We know we've got heavy. We've punched. And then luckily managed to get out of there. So remember, be careful if you're pushing because obviously heavy, uh, blackout's on. So their melee does a lot more. The reason why I was trying to get them both into my rocket was because we seen how much heavy we had lying about here. So the idea is to clear all the ads before you get up here. As you can see, we're, we're coming up for 10 minutes. So what I'm going to try and do is pre-hit. So I aimed slightly lower than I needed to because obviously the lift. And there you go. All the ads down with one rocket just about. We've still got more heavy. So we'll drop another rocket on the tank and we'll drop another rocket towards where the boss is. We know we've still got enough heavy. It never really done that much. So I've got box breathing on my sniper. That's why I was kind of kind of uh, holding off to fire to let the box breathe and prop. Now, got to be really careful with these dogs. Now, I, I, I just forgot a couple of times that I had, I had uh, blackout on, as you can see. They just got a little bit too close, so we'll get to... Where I'm standing here is your safe zone, but you have to remember... Eventually, they will run off. So I've seen I had enough snipes. Look to the left. And the heel, that's where he goes. So, unfortunately, from that distance, he thought he could charge me. <laughs> oh, that's silly. So, doing pretty well for time and score. We need to, we need to make it through this section pretty quickly. Uh, we don't want to. Now, this is where the biggest problem comes in this doing this strike. It's time. You really want to be going on the left at about 15 minutes. You want the 15 minutes, you know, you want to be shooting at the boss at 15 minutes. So you're not, you're still scoring 100% of points and you're not losing points too quickly. That is the strategy. Don't lose points too quickly. Now, I probably did spend a little bit more time than I needed to to be safe. But this, I've said it before in videos, I'll say it again. This is a guide. This isn't, there's nothing flash here. You know, I want a repeatable strategy that other people can follow, you know. So, one rocket there. I always jump up to this side. To the, jumping up on jumping up here, I'm not in the way of everybody straight away. But it get, it lets me know what ads I'm facing. If I get up there and that, that server is there, I know I've got the, the taken, ver the fallen version here. So we know we've got another server down here. So we are going to burn another rocket. And that's the two kind of... That's really that... It's not difficult, as you as you, you probably guessed. But that's that's the two heavy hit and close range ads taken. We've got a solar sniper. So the other uh, shielded cabal that, that are shielded with a solar shield, we can take from range. So we can't see that first taken... That first cabal, there he is. So, that was, <laughs> I meant that. Obviously, I meant to shoot that cabal with my sniper as he pushed me. But, uh, no problem. So, we're going to take these these uh, turrets out. And as you can see, we got we got heavy ammo. So, normally, I like to, I like to, uh, Make sure I've got enough heavy ammo, but I burnt a couple of snipe shots there because I knew I had special ammo here. And then a nice little shot in between there. That's one down. And there's the next one down. So we do, we're not going to need a sniper past this area. So I, 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 I missed a couple of shots just to, just to prove how much sniper ammo we don't need. <laughs> Obviously, that's not the reason. But, uh, yep, what we're going to do now is just f making sure I'm not leaving any any uh, ammo lying about, just in case, Ch make sure there's no cabal, because obviously it's on Oxinge, and that's what, another reason why I uh, 
I'm keeping my distance because all these ads now on 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 the left do arc. So we're just making sure there's none. Obviously blackout, so we have to go line of sight. So when we get up here, we're going to have a final check. And we're at 14 minutes, so it's exactly where we want to be. And there's one more. So we're just having a check. Normally you can hear the, the vandals if there's any line about. We know we've got heavy ammo. There's a brick on that bridge. Now be careful when you're jumping up this because that can happen. Now I noticed that that happened a lot more this time than it ever does. So just be careful when you're jumping up. Make sure you're looking slightly up and you're jumping very straight. Now for anybody that's never seen my arms dealer runs before, the reason why you jump up this chain, you want to get to the last clean section. As you'll see there, that last clean section, what that does is it accesses the boss. So the boss will be active for the whole uh, journey up on the left. So we can basically bake him on the left. So we've got our six rockets. So we've got a grenade. When this drop pod drops, we'll put a grenade which should, if not kill, maim everything and make them easy pickings. There's no heavy. I was looking to see if I had more heavy. And then we will... Now, it's you because we don't have tracking, which is fine, which is year one strat, make sure that you take your time. And as you can see, you don't have to be completely hidden from his, from his sniper. You can kind of head glitch him a little bit. He He's not... He has a sniper, but he's not as accurate as you would think. Now, what happened here, all the other times that I'd done this, I just got lucky with the with the the cluster that, that I never had to pop my super. This was the only time I had to pop my super. Two hits with the super, he's dead. And make sure we take out the other Scorpius, Scorpion tanks, Scorpius turrets, because you get points for them. And there you go. And that, that is solo 100k using all Leviathan and Menagerie weapons. Thanks for watching, guys. I always appreciate your viewership. I hope this has helped. I hope you've enjoyed the run. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video.